Hello, my YouTube friends. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you for being here for Mahas Picks Part 2. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a beautiful, beautiful crystal called Hawk's Eye. Hawk's Eye, which is this beautiful crystal right here, is a pseudomorph quartz. Now, I want to clarify the difference between tiger's eye and hawk's eye because I'm always surprised at how many times I've gone to crystal shops and I've asked for hawk's eye and they've shown me tiger's eye and they were convinced that it's the same thing. Well, hawk's eye is from, it's a relative of tiger's eye, but it has different metaphysical properties and it looks different. So we know, we all know Tiger's Eye and we all love it. It's a very beautiful golden um, crystal that has this cat's eye effect. Now, in fact, Tiger's Eye used to be a hawk's eye when it began its life. So it's pseudomorph quartz, which hawk's eye is, basically means when one mineral transforms into another mineral over time. So it changes over time. So it started its life first as a fibrous blue-black mineral called crocodolite. And as the crocodolite over time was changing into the quartz, the quartz melted into this crocodolite and left fibers of it inside. So then you have this beautiful bluish black crystal which has a cat's eye effect in the light and it's in fact when you look at it in the light you see all its fibers and the fibers are kind of bluish it's really beautiful now sometimes you have traces of iron oxide left in the crystal as it's changing changing form and then that becomes this kind of this golden brown color which is tiger's eye so that's how tiger's eye develops in hawk's eye in fact you do have some traces of iron oxide sometimes, which gives it beautiful lines and patterns, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, I wanted to clarify another thing. Blue tiger's eye. What is blue tiger's eye? You've probably heard of blue tiger's eye. And um, if you look it up on the internet, you'll see that hawk's eye is often called blue tiger's eye. So the difference is when you have the stage in between um, hawk's eye and tiger's eye, so in the... Pr oh, my camera's over there. In the process of hawk's eye and tiger's eye, in between stage, you have some. You have a beautiful crystal that's half hawk's eye, like a bluish gray black, and then the other half is the golden color of tiger's eye. That's blue tiger's eye. So I'm going to show you some photographs. The first one is going to be hawk's eye close up. The second one is blue tiger's eye, and then tiger's eye. So you can see the difference. I'm wearing two necklaces here that I've made myself and I'm going to show you close-ups of those because these ones do have very minute traces of iron oxide in them, especially this one which I'm wearing here and it has, uh, I made this myself. So really simple, I just basically drilled holes in the, um, the shapes that I liked and then for this one in particular I put it with a feather because hawk's eye is associated to the element of air. So I'll just show you those two photos quickly. So hawk's eye is also called falcon's eye. And its color actually resembles the eye of a falcon or a hawk. And it's a crystal that said, it is said that it uh, helps with strengthening vision. So you can think about it metaphorically. The hawk is high up and it can see everything. It has amazing vision. 
and that's what this crystal can bring for us. It's linked to the fifth chakra, so that whole, all the body parts related to the fifth chakra, uh, it is very balancing and healing for those physical levels. For example, the neck area, the upper spine, shoulder, upper shoulder area, then um, the eyes and hearing. It's good for the sense of hearing and it clears the sinus area. It also is said to help with those who have fear of flight. So of course, again, think about the hawk and the falcon having the power to be high, high, high up, up above most birds. Now it's a crystal that's linked to the sign of Sagittarius as well as Scorpio. And those are the two signs that we have for the month of November. And also it is linked to the planet Jupiter. Now, Jupiter in astrology stands for expansion, the higher mind, higher perspective, and the bigger picture. So Hawk's Eye related to Jupiter can help us expand our visions and see the bigger picture in our lives as opposed to staying in the small self. And that can come in handy, as you know, many times. So it's a reminder of that. It's a really great stone for meditation. It's healing for the brow chakra. I meditate with this particular crystal all the time. I love it. And when I meditate with it, I stare into this color and I think of seeing myself in the bigger picture of life. And it's related to, okay, so Jupiter in Greek mythology is Zeus, as you, I'm sure, already know. And Zeus was the powerful god, god of the Olympians, the god of all the Olympians, god of the gods, and his symbol, his emblem, was an eagle. Now the eagle, being able to fly higher than any other bird, has amazing vision. So you can link it again to the hawk's eye. Then. As far as Sagittarius, Sagittarius is also very intuitive, so is Scorpio. This crystal is great for divination as it increases intuition and it is a stone of prophecy. And that prophetic sense of Sagittarius, of the higher mind and wisdom. Now Scorpio we talked about last month being the uh, this, this zodiac sign of transformation and power. Right now, we're still, nature is still going through a huge transformation, as you can see it all around you. And this crystal helps with your transforma inner transformations. It helps with when you're going through transitions in your life, helps you to regain your self-control self and gives you that power, that self-empowerment to be able to deal with those sometimes challenging periods of transitions. Let's see if I missed anything. It's also a great stone for travelers. It's a very protective stone. Um, it repels negativity coming from other people, so it's really great to wear it as such. You can also find it in beads, which is there, it's really beautiful as beads. And I hope that was uh, informative for you and I love Hawk's Eye. Let me know what you think. It is, a, it's, it is a rare, it's more rare than Tiger's Eye and probably harder to find than a lot of crystals, but it's not expensive still. So you can still find it quite easily for a relatively good price. Thank you guys. I hope you're having a good week and a good month and I'll see you in Moss Picks Part 3. Take care.